गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हो आई एम ऑडिबल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेनी पीपल आर ऑलवेज आस्किंग मी रिगार्डिंग द स्टेटस ऑफ माई हेल्थ आई एम थैंकफुल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर योर सपोर्ट इट्स बीन सेवन डेज एंड आई एम गेटिंग बेटर ओवर टाइम सो राइट नाउ डोंट हैव एनी फीवर और एनी ऑफ द थ्रोट पेन इज ऑल्सो वेरी मच रिड्यूस्ड सो होपफुली it will be completely cured within like uh, if another one week or 10 days or so okay so now the second thing uh, the reason i am making this video is for the cut off for uh, the csi net exam which is done that is uh, the pending exam the june exam or you can call it as the december exam kind of to get the same thing but we still call it as a june 2020 csi net exam which is conducted again for two shifts shift 1 and shift 2 so i was i was looking uh, the question actually uh, it is a little late this time because i didn't get the time to check so why uh, while i was uh, looking at the questions and the type of distribution because i asked my students as well to get their uh, experience about the questions and now i am sharing my experience about the question first of all uh, about the shift 1 and shift 2 the very first and very important thing that i can uh, draw as a conclusion is that there is a difference in terms of question pattern that is present in shift 1 and in shift 2 the questions are not at all similar the questions are not doing justice to the very idea that uh, this is the same exam and the people from different uh, places are going to take this exam and actually literally they're taking two different uh, set of exams uh, if i check the questions correctly because uh, to me the shift 1 and shift 2 questions they have a little more uh, differences they should not have that much of differences between them they should have more similarities but it's not the case now for shift 1 uh, questions what i can say is that part a paper was comparatively easier what i felt compared to the shift 2 <clears throat> part a is comparatively easier there are graphical representation questions and all things are there the difficult part about shift a what i found is unit 9 and unit 10 there are plenty of question from unit 9 which it depends on your uh, memory skills if you don't know the scientific names and uh, you know uh, some things regarding the uh, classical botany and classical zoology you can uh, not answer those questions so that is a bad thing about shift 1 uh there are less questions placed from unit 12 and 13 which generally they supposed to give more number of question but this time less number of question from 12 and 13 particularly so that is less and 10% more questions are there from unit 8 genetics and unit 7 that is human physiology and the question complexity from human physiology is little uh, difficult here and rest of the questions are kind of equivalently distributed across part c uh, and actually whatever i am talking i am talking for part c okay part b is uh, is okay It's not much difference between uh, shift 1 and shift 2 there are more or less similar but this is for part c rest of the question near about approximately six question on average uh, given weightage from every single unit okay that's all that's all for shift 1 for shift 2 now for shift 2 the part a portion for shift 2 is really complicated it's difficult it's not the same it is complicated compared to unit uh, i mean shift 1 uh, shift 2 part a i found more complicated okay which should not be the case okay but it's it's really uh, complicated compared to shift 1 now the second thing is uh, that the distribution of the question again uh, it was kept 6 okay six number of question per unit that is the general distribution that they kept in their mind but uh, the difference is that they they give 10% more uh, weightage from unit 3 unit 6 and unit 8 so yes unit 8 is given more weightage in both shift 1 as well as in shift 2 questions from genetics actually a lot of uh, not only from genetics but particularly from the genetics uh, what i can say the mapping questions okay from mapping questions they have uh, particularly tend towards mapping questions and then uh, uh, like unit 3 that is molecular biology and unit 6 which is plant physiology given more weightage for shift 2 while animal physiology or human physiology given more weightage for shift 1 uh, 
the unit 1 questions are completely different this time in shift 2 questions. Normally they ask a lot of questions from you know Dale G and all these things but this time the question from unit 1 I found is totally different kind and there are less graph related or graphical questions in shift 2 but more graphical questions are present in shift 1 okay these are the differences between shift 1 and shift 2 that I found out okay so now the final thought that I mm, that I want to give the thing is you know when the question papers are made always they make more number of question than they supposed to give because in anyhow if there is a second exam need to be conducted or if a one paper is leaked or something they are going to get another paper out of the stock question so they always have a more number of stock questions uh, not exactly so if they want to ask 75 questions in part c they normally have more than 2050 300 uh, sorry 250 300 questions in their hand in part c for a particular year so now what happened is that whenever they are making the very first whenever they start making the very first uh, question set of question and generally uh, until last year okay they always give one question paper and that's normal one question paper everybody take that question paper and that should be the case you know you should be judged by only one question paper not more than one type of question paper because no matter how much you try you can never achieve the same uh, degree of complexity in different question papers so it's not fair judgment but uh, so always he said did one question paper and rest of the question they throw out and toss out probably they use it for the next year or not but since last year, last time and this uh, net exam, they need to take the exam multiple times. And last time two times, this time three papers. These are the two shift papers and there is also another paper conducted for those who have like in places in India where there is flood. Okay, So I am not talking about that question paper either here. So three question papers. So as they want to make more and more questions because it's very difficult to make huge number of questions before CSI net exam. It's very difficult to make part C questions and all this by because generally it's done by a panel of uh, uh, postdoc uh, researchers as well as uh, the lab head across India, across different institutes of India. So <clears throat> it's not that easy job to make questions that like you cannot just say that within two months we need another new question paper kind of that. It's not that easy. So uh, what they did is that whenever there is the first exam for the very first exam the question paper is set uh, it was a software algorithm it's randomly picked from a stock question list so the very first paper is based on the degree of complexity that they actually desire to and then whenever if due to any reason they need to conduct this exam for the second time or third time the question paper is no longer going to be the same because now the leftover questions will be there and they are going to use the leftover question so the distribution of the question a pattern distribution of the question weightage will be varied from unit to unit and all these things may happen so this is one reason that the question papers vary a lot from the first set of questions to the next set of questions so that's why the different shift questions are different in complexity as well as in the types for example in shift two questions there are less <clears throat> uh, less number of pictorial and less number of graphical question compared to shift one okay this is always a uh, issue that is uh, created so shift two question i found really easier comparatively easier uh, then uh, shift one and uh, in shift one part a was easier but in shift two part a is not that all easy part a is really difficult really complicated so uh, probably the part equations uh, that they want to give are finished and the leftover questions only have the difficult questions left so the questions uh, are asked from that part so this is one thing that we need to really think about if uh, this kind of situation happens again and they need to conduct again two three different net exam net question papers then they are not going to be the same okay so uh, keeping this in mind overall the verdict is that the question paper is not that difficult the question distribution is almost equal for particularly part C part A is different between two different shifts so I don't know whether they are going to give you two different cutoffs for two different shift which they should have but even if they don't give that but still they should give you uh, at least an overall good uh, window of uh, mark statement okay so what I can tell uh, is the predicted cutoff the predicted cutoff for you like uh, for general category JRF what I can assume from here is that 
it should be somewhere 56 percent to 58 percent that's what i can say 56 percent to 58 percent so i have listed uh, the total number of uh, percentage total percentage of scores that i think is a fair justice to the number of students appearing and qualifying for grf and ls so you can think of the unreserved category grf it will be 58 percent ls 52 percent ews category grf 50 percent ls 45 percent obc category grf 49 percent ls 44 percent sc category grf 42 percent ls 38 percent st category <clears throat> grf 37 percent ls 34 percent and pwd category grf ls both 29 percent 28 to 29 percent so this is a list of percentage of qualifying marks that may be required for you to qualify this june 2020 csi exam as per the question complexity and question analysis so that's it uh, if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that thank you